2017, there's going to be a great deal of attention paid to Martin Luther because it's the 500th anniversary of what is usually regarded as his first public act of reformation. Uh, so it was the beginning of what we today call the Reformation of the Church, a fundamental challenge to the authorities of the Church in his day and a fundamental remaking of the understanding of Christian truth according to the Bible. So the Reformation is really about returning to the Bible, understanding the Bible, and by returning to the Bible, understanding the Gospel as it's taught in the Bible. So this is why the Reformation, the celebration of the Reformation, the remembering of Martin Luther is really important. Because for Christians, nothing can be more important than the Bible and the Gospel. So uh, Luther became the pioneer of the Reformation, the, the first major force in the Reformation. And uh, he had started, one might say, rather obscurely as a professor teaching at a small German university, uh, but almost against his will was made a very public figure, a heroic figure, a champion. Uh, and yet his great concern was not that people focus upon him, but that people focus on the gospel. And uh, both as a professor of theology and as a preacher, he was a regular preacher in the town of Wittenberg, uh, he called people to return to the Bible, to return to Christ and the gospel. It got him in a lot of trouble. There were a lot of established authorities that were making a lot of money off the old church. And it's remarkably parallel, really, to what our Lord ran into in his day with the Pharisees, who had their tradition, didn't want to see things changed because they had their power, uh, their money involved. It was very much the same in the 16th century with Martin Luther, but Luther persevered, and uh, in the providence of God, he arose at a time when there was a lot of spiritual anxiety, a lot of spiritual inquiry, and very importantly, the resources to come back to the Bible, to study the Bible, not only in the old Vulgate or Latin translation of the Bible, but now a renewal of learning so that people could actually study the Bible, or at least scholars and ministers could study the Bible in Greek and in Hebrew. And uh, that gave a whole fresh window on the Bible and its teaching and called many people back. And so Luther in his life and ministry was uh, centrally used by God to begin this great movement of reformation, which attracted a remarkable number of talented, educated, learned people who carried the gospel uh, really throughout Europe and from that beginning throughout the world.